White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki refusing to discuss details of President Biden's leaked call with ex-Afghan President Ghani. A leaked transcript revealing President Biden may have pressured Afghan's former leader to change the global perception of the Taliban's rapid takeover. Joining me now, Michigan Congresswoman Armed Services Committee member Lisa McLean. Good to see you this morning. Why wouldn't Jen Psaki comment on it? It's already out in the public domain. Well, I have no idea, but Jen Psaki is the epitome of this administration. Biden doesn't answer questions, uh, turns his back after a press conference. Jen Psaki doesn't want to talk about a leaked conversation. It's it's all about cover the cover up. You know, there's an old saying, the cover up is worse than the crime. The American people deserve the truth. They deserve some honesty. They deserve some transparency and they deserve to hear from their leaders as it pertains to what's going on. That's who we work for. We work for the people of the United States. It's our job to answer questions. Christian, jump in here. But again, it clearly seems the hope of the I described it yesterday that the Biden administration just wants to put Vaseline on the lens of history and um, cloud what has really happened and what is still happening and just hope the American people forget about it. It's such a shame. The American people actually want to rally around a president in a time of crisis. If you look at other past instances, right in the middle of impeachment, uh, uh, Bill Clinton actually lobbed some missiles at Iraq in an attempt to win some public support. Probably worked. Jimmy Carter, when he faced the Iran crisis, his poll numbers actually went up. They came up from the 30s to a much higher level because people rally around a president who's candid with them. Biden has done the opposite, and that is one reason his poll numbers are falling. Congresswoman, uh, I have a question, though, about um, holding people to account for what has happened mm -hmm. in Afghanistan and congressional Republicans doing a good job, I think, of holding Biden to account for his his failings. What about the rest of the military industrial complex, if you will, our 80 billion dollar a year intelligence bureaucracy that also failed very badly here? Should they be held to account? And should people like Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin and JCS Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman Milley be fired? The, the short answer is absolutely yes. That is our job in Congress. In fact, I just got out of the NDAA markup um, early this morning around 3 a.m. And we actually put some proposals to do just that. Um, look, the American people deserve better. And this was a debacle. This is a flawed mission, flawed execution. We have already left Americans and our allies back in Afghanistan. We need to take a look at what happened. One, so we don't make the same mistakes again, but also 13 people, 13 servicemen and women have perished because of this botched exit. And I think their families, as well as the American people, deserve to know what happened, what went wrong. Then we get transcripts of, in my opinion, a clear cover-up. You know, perception's 90% of reality. Why can't we be truthful with the American people? We can't fix a problem unless we first admit there's a problem in this administration continues to dig their self, themselves into a hole because they won't take a look at what the problems are and they won't admit they have a problem and they continue to massage and manipulate perception. And, it, and now the Taliban, they continue to show off all the U.S. equipment and arms and aircraft oh. that the U.S. left behind. General Mark Milley now suggesting the Taliban could wind up being a partner of sorts. Uh, and if we have to in the fight against ISIS-K. Your reaction to that, Congresswoman? Listen to what we're saying. The Taliban is a terrorist organization. Now, un under the, the, the previous administrations, and really for the past 20 years, we've kept them in check, so to speak. However, the Taliban is a terrorist organization, and we are now going to work with the Taliban, that's the best we have. We're going to work with one terrorist organization to help us
combat an even worse terrorist organization, this is a time for leadership. Mm -hmm. Leaders need to step up and lead. And that is what we're lacking right now with this administration. Mm -hmm. Congresswoman Lisa McLean, thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you for having me.